This tech node is going to explain how to upload files to the SPI flash filing system that can be accessed by programs. Uh, there's a fairly detailed set of instructions on the GitHub web page. There's the link. There's the instructions verbatim. Um, it's fairly straightforward. Download the, um, the add-on tool, copy it into a folder and start your IDE. Um, when you come to usage you have to create a folder called data in the sketch folder with the data files you want to be uploaded and then you choose the upload data option from the IDE and then when you've done that it takes quite a while but when you've done that the files will get um, will be accessible by your program and when you've installed the tool you get this uh, highlighted area here available to you so here's the actual web page and I'll go through the process from uh, start to finish. Click on the link to get the latest uh, add-in, plug-in, download it. I'm going to download it into the Arduino IDE uh, folder and uh, that's done. Then I'm going to go to the folder and unpack the uh, add-in and uh, go through that process there. Let's check the uh, tools folder is there, which it is. So now I'll open up the tool and uh, get a copy of the uh, add-in, the plugin, and then copy that into the tools folder. And that's it done. That's the installation of the add-on complete. Next I've restarted the IDE and I'm going to open up the sketch folder and there is the folder with the data that's been created so it's just called data and those are the icons I want to upload to the ESP8266 and uh, so just stress create that folder called data in your sketch folder each sketch requires a data folder. So now when I go to the tools menu I got a data upload options I've selected that and now the upload begins I've tried to fast forward this as much as possible it takes about three to four minutes to upload the files that I'm uploading and um, when complete the files that I'm showing now will be available in the um, SPIFS filing system area so I'll be using this in a, in a follow on project. I've got a nice, well, I think a nice weather display coming up and it requires those icons to operate correctly. I hope you find the video useful and I think you'll find a lot of use for the SPIS filing system in your projects.